Hello everybody, thank you for checking out our YouTube video. This is Tim with LiveCaseBreak.com. Got a couple boxes of the new Topps Star Wars 40th Anniversary for Andy. Okay, yes, he has a case of memorabilia treasury whenever he would like. We could probably squeeze that in. That's only like a... It's only a 5-10 minute break, Andy, if you want to rip that tonight, dude. Just let me know. Um, probably... Let me just slap a start estimated start time on this. Ten thirty Eastern. So we get six or seven more. I'm just gonna go ahead and rip. We're not gonna wait for that to sell out tonight. It doesn't have to. If it does, great. But no worries otherwise. Okay, let's get zoomed in. And boom. Star Wars 40th. This stuff is hotter than 17 Bowman right now. Like I said in the mailer, you guys saw. Guaranteed auto. I have no idea what the content is like. I am a new Star Wars fan. I can't claim to have the uh, nostalgic roots that some of you guys have. I just recently watched them all. I don't even know half the characters, I'm sure. So, let's see. Guaranteed auto per box, though. That's a big change for Star Wars. No stacks here. Pictures look pretty badass. I had never watched a pib like Indiana Jones. I've never, uh, I've never watched Indiana Jones. Greens and blues are non-numbered, Charles. All right, sweet. That way I won't have to check the backs. We'll already know. Um. James Bond, I know you guys kill me for this on a frequent basis. I've never been a James Bond guy. I was in Lord of the Rings ever since the beginning. I was a fan of those. I'm trying to think what else. I'm trying to think what other big uh, big blockbusters I never got uh, into. We're gonna have a zoo someday, Pib. Seriously. Bonafide zoo. That's why, Danny, when Disney bought Star Wars, I was like, oh shit, I finally gotta watch them. Alright, Andy, here we go. Greens are not uh, numbered, parallels. 40 years of Star Wars, Caravan of Courage. An Ewok adventure. Interesting. Oh, there's our first coin right off the bat. Commemorative Medallion, R2-D2. Let's see if these are numbered. Judge hit another homer? My god, man. Crazy. Although it's off the Jays, Andy. That, that counts like as half a homer on this year. Commemorative Medallion, R2-D2 is your first hit. Alright. Flip through. Um, as usual, we'll check all these for short prints and whatnot. There's a 100... Both the droids and Ewoks cartoons begin. Let me fix that. Definitely never got into Star Trek. Although I actually watched more Star Trek than Star Wars, to be honest with you, Pip. Because when I was a kid, we were really poor and we didn't have many channels. Star Trek was one of the few that was uh, aired. It looks like an orange. Say oranges are non-numbered, someone say? Greens and blues are non-numbered. Maybe that's not an orange, just a base, not numbered. Chewy, looks like a red. A lot of sketch cards, a lot of art cards, really. It's like the fifth or sixth one we've seen so far. There's another green. That is badass looking. Really cool. Mark Hamill, Harrison Ford, Carrie Fisher. Neat. <laughs> Green, Star Wars The Clone Wars. The animated series. Base and... Base. Hopefully the sketches are easier to pick out, because man, a lot of these cards look like real sketches. Rent the Star Treks. 
Oh, the newest Star Trek movies are awesome, gotcha. Another green. Blue Death Trooper, I think Charles said blues are unnumbered. Yes, they are. Hard to, uh, hard to track some of those, Pip. Another green. Interesting photo. <laughs> green Battle of Endor. Yellow, Ben and Luke help C-3PO to his feet. I would honestly not know. Your first auto is Psy Snoodles. So we got the two hits out of the first box. Psy Snoodles, unnumbered. Mike Quinn as Psy Snoodles. Probably a whammy auto there, I'm assuming. I think I was finishing uh, sense earlier and cut myself off, Andy, but I'll, I'll uh, put the boys on these to go through and check the backs of every single card. Make sure we don't miss any low numbers. Just in case I miss. Yellow's a buyback, so this is an original. I was going to say this felt super thin. That's pretty badass. 19... Is that actually from 1977? That can't be, right? Is it? This is 97 on there, but that could just be the copyright. That's pretty cool. I'll put that in the uh, short print parallel pile. Do we have any other yellows over here? Nope, I missed a green. And a blue. Alright, one stack down, you got both hits out of the first box. Let's see what else we got over here. There's a blue. Green parallel coming. Another green source book, 40 Years of Star Wars. It's actually really well done right there. What's up, Steven? <laughs> what was tweet worthy? I missed it. That's pretty badass. Kenner action figures. There's another green. Rebels face the threat of the Death Star. International posters. I just realized that I think a couple of those other ones were too. Blue. Force Awakens. Empire Strikes Back. Andy, if you want, I can put the guys on this and they can make a full set. So you have the complete set, at least. And then we can just sell off all your dupes if you want to do that on your cases. Let me know if that's something you're interested in. It wouldn't be a big deal. Heroes. Normally what we do with your base is just try to sell it off as a big lot. There's a green Rogue One. Look like an original, but it's not. It's got that foil cover on it. There's another green. Uh, animated series there, green. Blue source book. And we got a green. And boy, that really looks like an original. No, reproduction. Damn. Seriously looked like it. Send you a base set? You got it, man. Perfect. Less base to uh, try and flip. Alright. One box down. Sny Snoodles Auto and a R2-D2 commemorative medallion. Probably close to that. Let me just see if we got another one uh, sold in the big one. Okay, we got another spot sold. 
couple more. Oh, what the hell is it doing that for again? We got 10 left in the big three caser, guys. Looking at about 10.30 start time on that. Star Wars is not in the friends, no. Chad, you know you have two spots tonight, right? I'll make sure you knew that. Ryan Yu, are you in here? Ryan Yu, I had you down for a spot. Larry said you wanted one. I didn't get a check out. Just wanted to make sure you still wanted it or not. I can take it out. No worries if you didn't. the next stack yeah it's definitely guaranteed tonight okay cool thank you Ryan muchos gracias he was he was on the list you sent so I just wanted to make sure you weren't left out Darth Vader green rebel alliance blue one there I promise you'll get more than three hits Steven I promise that much if you don't I will give you hits to equal out equal two three or four perhaps there's another green how's that for a guarantee <laughs> Empire Strikes Back is released there are two spots in tonight's breaks that come with a uh, that come with uh, credits, too. Uh, the giant spot gets a small credit back. And there's one other one. I forgot what it was. You got two autos in this box. Ooh, that seems like a nice one. Emperor Palpatine. Obviously one of the bigger characters. Yay, nay. Unnumbered Clive Revell. The voice of Emperor Palpatine. I mean, it looks like from the actual movies, but it could have been the animated series, I guess. Of course, Chad. <laughs> Everybody has a short-term memory in this. Everybody. Alright, Clive Revell, Emperor Palpatine. There you go. And your other auto's actually staring right there at me. Damn, that's badass looking. Art card. Portrait cards, I guess those are called. Alright, there's another green. What? Mm, 1985, Star Wars Ewoks. Interesting. <laughs> that looks like something Greg Nemo sees on a nightly basis right there. For those of you that know Greg Nemo. That is really cool. Is that a poster from the actual movies back then? The 70 ones? Yeah, it is. George Lucas, Harrison Ford, Carrie. Okay, cool. Alright, green. Parallel. Another auto is sitting right here. That doesn't mean we couldn't have two hits. Another extra, perhaps. Uh, Sebulba. Lewis McLeod as Sebulba. <laughs> Nemo definitely sees visions of those all night, man. Sebaruba. I feel like you've done pretty well in the autos. What's that Palpatine go for? Anybody got a value on eBay yet? Green. Another one of those K 
carries. Blue parallel. Can anybody tell me what the low numbered parallels are numbered out of? There's another green. So I can try to keep an eye out for them. Green Clone Wars. And a Darth Vader. Wow. That's, uh, did we figure out what year these are from, by the way? Palpatine from a different product, 40 to 50. Not bad. Lord Darth Vader says 1977 on it, and it's bent to shit right there. Card 196, there's no other date on it, so obviously I don't know what year those are from. Are they actually from 1977? Yeah, I know it's a buyback. I figured that much out. That is really cool. Ryan, I got your order, buddy. Thank you. Is that Chewy? Green. There's a blue. Had a different feel to it, but no. Artist unknown. Star Wars licensing art. Damn, how cool is that? Appears to be a gold. It is out of 40. Damn, the gold set's out of 40. That's going to be a hot set. 9 out of 40, Star Wars Rebels Season 1. Premiered in 2014. Plus one for plus ones. So the gold parallel set, that's going to be a tough one to make. That is pretty damn cool. 40th anniversary and they cut them to 40. Green parallel Clone Wars. That's the first black and white looking sketch or uh, art, art card I've seen. Not numbered though. No, there's three of them in a row as I say that. Another green, Luke Skywalker, a couple more art cards, that vaguely resembles He-Man, I'm just going to say that, just a little bit, obviously less bulky. Oh yeah, Pib, I just mean uh, for somebody trying to make the master set of the gold 40th anniversary cards, that's going uh, to be a nice set to make, only 40 available total. There's a blue. Base, 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 and base. We got two autos out of this box. I don't see a medallion. I think you're a closet one too, Chad. That might be red. We got a green. So we got two autos in this box, a gold and a Darth Vader buyback original from 1977. There's a green. Long time in a galaxy, far, far away. Eventually, I'll learn that that Darth Vader is not a red. <laughs> I said the same thing for years, Chad. I eventually got sucked in. There's a blue animated series. Green. All right. Andy, you got time for more? You gotta pop out. I'll check orders real quick while you let me know. I just don't wanna start another one if you gotta pop out. Okay, mark this down. Jared, Sean, Ryan, you are in. Time for another one at least? Alright, cool. I can probably squeeze in up to four more, I would say. Maybe more. We'll see. We still got uh, nine left. Hey, let me do it that time. Didn't do the weird thing. For as many cards as this is, it actually rips fairly easily. Ton of artwork. Robin, they look awesome though, I have to say. Maybe the retail version is a little less quality. Or uh, a little lower quality, rather. The hobby version, the art cards look amazing. Uh, that would definitely, I think that would make any man a fan for life, Pip.
<laughs> you get another buyback in this. The buybacks are falling one per box. Anybody do a quick eBay search on those buybacks? See what they're going for? I would think that Darth Vader would be one of the most desirable ones from the 77 set, along with Solo and Leia. I almost did that, Pib, but you guys saved me. Because I mentioned I was finally going to see one of them in the theaters with Lisa. And you guys said, don't do it. Watch the, uh, watch three, no, watch four, five, and six first, you guys said, right? Or yeah, watch Rogue One, then four through seven, and then Force Awakens, right? Yes. Because it was Force Awakens that I was going to see. <laughs> I would be too. I can definitely see how watching those backwards would be a problem. All the packs are open, I don't see a medallion yet, and I still don't. That's good. That means you might have another two-auto box, dude. Obviously, as all you guys know, the medallions are kind of overdone a wee bit. Alright, next stack. Let's do it. Source book. There's a green. Auto Nien Noomb. I feel like I pulled this for somebody before. Oh, I definitely did. I don't remember who it was for. The bad lip reading videos are amazing. It's a Nien Noom not numbered. Kipsang Rotich was the voice of this. Excellent looking character. That does not look like his auto. Kip saying Rotich? Eh, Alright, I can see. I can see that now. Alright, one auto out. One hit out, I should say. You could also have a sketch in here. It's green. There's a blue. Another green. Buyback coming. Green parallel. Deadly Blasters, 1977 original buyback. Oh yeah, Steven, for sure. Want a Tiffany's bracelet? Sure, sounds good. Here's the credit card. <laughs> okay, we got another green coming. Failure in the cave. I'm trying to keep my eyes peeled for anything that looks different here, because I have a feeling we might have a sketch as opposed to another two auto box. I'm gonna, I would think the two auto boxes are pretty rare. They have been in the past. Eh, there's a sketch. Okay, green, and your first sketch is actually sideways. Let's finish this stack and we'll flip through it. There's a green. Is that really a Chinese Star Wars? Man's Chinese Theater? Okay. I actually didn't like 1 through 3 very much, Pip. I thought 4, 5, and 6 were great. Obviously Rogue One and uh, Force Awakens were pretty damn good. But I also don't have much of a place to talk, because like I said, I'm a newer, newer fan. I don't have the nostalgic roots, like I said, a lot of you guys have. There's a green. Another green. And... Base. Let's see what the sketch is! Assuming all the sketches are 101s again, good luck! It is... Is that Obi-Wan and Luke? Sketch card from Star Wars A New Hope, done by Kayla Croft. A lot of these sell by the value of the artists themselves. I don't know much about Kayla Croft, if she's a popular one or not. That is pretty badass, Andy. It's gotta be Obi-Wan and Luke, right? And I will fight you over it. Brian, I am aiming for Friday, finishing it, and having it in the mail by Saturday. There's a new feature on the website that'll have, um, it'll have everything set, and there's an email going out Friday that you gotta make sure you see on BGS, because I need to know what people want for 10 day or 20 day. It'll have the breakdowns and everything, it'll be Friday afternoon for that. 
So that is what I'm aiming for. If I don't get it out Saturday morning, it'll be out Monday at the latest. There's a couple of you sending stuff that should be here tomorrow or the next day for it. Nice hit, Andy. I'm going to sleeve that in case you wind up uh, wanting to get that graded. Well, graded, maybe just encased. That's a pretty badass one. Not numbered 101, but I would have to assume. I mean, they all are. Fix the damn chat. I don't know why it keeps crashing. Okay, next stack. We got two hits out of this box, so probably not much of anything else. We got another blue. There's a green Yoda. Another green. Thought that might be a gold, but no. Oh, that's got gold on it. Oh. Green. Looking at those golds out of 40, I can't imagine they're much more than one per case. If any per case. There's another blue. Green. I like them both, Robin. I have to say. Okay. Nope, we've had that one before. There's the Chewy. Green. Green. Hey, by the way, guys, there's a new feature on YouTube. I don't know if half of you knew about it. Me and Ron kind of found it by mistake last week. Uh, when watching our videos on replay, you can actually slow it down to a half speed or quarter speed. So if you bought a box like this and you want to see every card, you can actually slow it down to where it would be right about there. That way you won't miss anything. If you have that desire to do so. It's one of those Ewoks blue. Uh, it's just you click on the cog and then click on play speed. It's actually really, really easy to do. And base. Andy, you got time for another one? Give me the uh, go ahead and we'll rip. Yeah, I didn't. I had no clue about it, to be honest, Andy. Andy V, no clue that you could do that. Tonight's break is uh, breaking rainbow eligible, guys. Too for anybody that doesn't know. Time for another one. Let's do it. That's the first button I look for too, Charles, when watching myself. Oddly enough. <laughs> so you're saying if I do a foot video, <laughs> might be able to get a couple thousand likes, make some ad revenue maybe? Sounds good to me. Mohammed Jelani, Star Wars sketch card from New Hope. I'm not great with Star Wars yet, but I'm assuming that's Han Solo. Sketch cards coming out in full force here. I have to say, I did like it when they uh, sleeved the sketches. I don't remember what product that was for. Nice hit. Obi-Wan and Han, and another Han sketch for Andy. Stuff is living up to the hype so far. Just need some big autos for him now. Got a green. And there's the other auto, Lieutenant Jansen. So two hits out. Lieutenant Jansen. Six out of 40. Actually, that is Indiana Jones. Touche. Ian Liston is Lieutenant Jansen. That is a short print out of 40. I don't see anything that notates a parallel on there, but it's numbered out of 40. 
<laughs> Jack Ryan. <laughs> Harrison Ford. It's all of the above. That would be the correct answer. So Lieutenant Jansen. Anybody see the parallel in there? Let me know so I can educate myself. Nice, nice. There's a green. There's a blue. Luke Skywalker, Jedi Knight. It is the fugitive. Like I said, it's all of the above. There's another black and white there, not a sketch though. Another gold! So my inclination about one per case is wrong. Another out of 40. Kenner action figures are introduced. 1978 early bird certificate package. That's pretty cool. So two golds out of 40 now in this case. Green. That's a red. I'm assuming the reds are also buybacks, of course. 77. Sighting R2-D2 from the original Tommy Lee Jones sketch card that's lurking. Just a little off-center there. Someone might have taken a pair of scissors to that. Really, really looks like it. Alright, so another 40th anniversary there. Okay, movie poster there. Green. Green. Again, we keep getting the hits early. Second stack here. Is it green? Blue. Green. Another green. Blue Death Troopers and base. Yeah, why did they spell out R2D2 there? Is that some pun I'm not catching? And they just put R2D2? I think the centering would come back zero, Pip. No, it would get a one, because there is a little bit of a left border. Just not much. Okay. Here we go. Leia. Rest of box three here for anybody keeping track. There's a green. Another green. Another green. Not an original. Blue! Fake. Better check that. Pretty sure I remember it. Yep, nothing on there. Green from the animation. This looks like, uh, what the hell was that movie in the 90s? Ah, uh, Mars Attacks. That's what that reminds me of. Mos Esley Cantina. Hmm. Sweet Yoda card. There's another blue. A couple of artwork cards and bass. All right, we got one stack left. Andy, let me know now if you got time for a fourth. Actually, this will be the fifth. Already halfway through. Already done four boxes. Possibly another gold there, too. Green. <laughs> no shirt, Han. For Canadians. Ah, okay. Is it a gold? Nope. Just the way it looks. Dangerous Dubacks. Dangerous Dubacks. Star Wars Lego. Really? Well, that was in 2006. I thought that was recent. Wow. Another green. A couple really nice sketches, Danny. Uh, on the Palpatine auto. I don't think he's hit any other. He hit, a, he hit an auto out of 40. Another green. 
Blue Jabba. Little green parallel. And last one, C-3PO and R2-D2. Base card. Good for another one, Andy? Nope. Wrong set. Uh, no Kenny Baker auto now. He didn't get so lucky. Oh, yeah. Not an auto. It was, uh, here are the two sketches he hit. Lieutenant Jansen was the auto out of 40. Six out of 40. And then there's the two sketches he hit. Nice one there by Muhammad Jelani. And then he had Obi-Wan and Han, or Obi-Wan and Luke, rather. By Kayla Croft. That name sounds more familiar than the other one. But I'm not sure. All right, I'm going to save this video, and if Andy pops...